programming the DC car decoder chip is done through an 8 pin plug which on larger vehicles can usually be quite easily inserted somewhere. In reality the DC car decoder chip does not often need reprogramming so in smaller vehicles where there isn't so much room you can sometimes just put it inside and then actually pull it out and connect it whenever it's necessary. A program is available to download from the DC car site which enables you to change the configuration values or CV values for the vehicle. The computer needs to connect with the DC car through a serial port and actually into the vehicle. To effect the connection between the computer and the decoder chip this wiring diagram is available on the site or you can actually buy a programmer from DC car direct. We've actually found a little secret though on the function Baustein. A friend of mine realized that on part on the function Baustein or function module the circuit you'd require to actually effect the link between the serial input from the computer and the small plug that goes into the vehicle actually exists on the on the board with one or two little modifications. The flashing headlamps on the vehicle indicate that it is currently in programming mode and therefore it is possible to reprogram the CV values of the chip. By clicking here we should be able to read all the CV values that are already on the chip. And almost very quickly they appear. Changing the value is quite a simple process. Double clicking on the CV number you wish to change brings it up into this particular box into which you can then actually change the value. Once you've done that you go down to here and it points out that you can actually put CV, the CV you've chosen, actually into your chip. There's also a useful sort of description, albeit in German, of what the particular CV function you've chosen actually does. I should of course point out that the program is also regularly updated and you need to check the DC car website to see what the latest version is. Once programmed the vehicle should obviously then be tested and if it requires further modifications you go through the whole process again. <laughs>